another year, another new Nissan GTR. This is the brand new model year 2012 car and much like the other iterations it's got a few suspension tweaks, it's got a bit more power although they won't tell us quite uh, quite what the power output is yet, we reckon about 545 something like that and we're here on a pretty wet Silverstone track trying it out and let's be honest if you were going to drive any car on a wet racetrack it would be the GTR with its four wheel drive and all the electronics working with you. But even now it's super slippy. Coming into this corner here you can see how careful I got to be. And on the exit, oh, traction control cutting in. I'm only on my second lap so I thought I better not ruin it and this is the only car here today only car in the country at the moment, so I don't want to ruin it in the first corner. You can actually feel that little bit of extra power. We've also got the 2011 model here just for comparison. I drove that just a minute ago and it just feels a little bit more urgent through the gears. I mean, it, these are tiny margins, it's a seriously fast car anyway. But. Um, this one really sings when it gets up to about five, six thousand. I have to say, it just feels like a rear wheel drive car in these conditions, but feel that power. As soon as you're pointing in the right way and you floor the throttle, oh, well it just takes your breath away. This is sensational. But I have to say, short of perhaps a Porsche 911 Turbo, I can't think of anything that would negotiate a wet Silverstone quicker. Okay, we switch the um, tracks control into R mode. Oh, it just gives you that much more slip. You might have noticed the difference. That same corner before when we had the tracks control fully on, it just snapped me back a little earlier. But the safety net is still there and I think in these conditions it'd be a fool to turn it off completely or a very skillful driver of course. The GTR may well be one of the most friendly supercars in the world if you can say that for a car with this much power but it does have all those electrics and it does have four wheel drive looking after you. On a wet track though it still bears its teeth but we got round it in one piece what a fantastic experience. If I'm being honest, I wouldn't really want to be driving it and anything else. And this model year 12 car, it just improves the formula that little bit more, like a chef refining a recipe. Hats off to Nissan.